Your reaction to Justin Fields falling, we know we talked about it yesterday on this show, Pollock, and me and you have talked as two dogs. We have talked about this for years. Some of the criticism of Fields was <laughs> how could he not even beat out Jake Fromm at Georgia in terms of why people felt like he was falling. What do you make of this move by the Bears? Yeah, we had to cry a lot um, <laughs> about Justin Fields leaving Georgia. Um, <laughs> listen, I, I think that when you look at this situation, we talked about it all leading up to the draft, and uh, situations and fits make a big difference. I feel bad for Justin Fields. Like, this, this situation, is, this is where quarterbacks have gone to die. Like, you look at Chicago, there hasn't been a lot of success. And the bad thing is, L, you show that clip of pace, and you show him saying, this is our quarterback. I can rewind to several drafts ago, and I got the same thing about Mitchell Trubisky mm -hmm. and him being our guy. So this isn't an easy situation for Justin Fields to go into. I definitely don't think this is a situation where he comes in and he's going to light it up and prove everybody wrong that he slid down and he was the fourth quarterback taken. It's going to be a tough, tough Tough job for Justin Fields to go to Chicago and win. A lot of people saying that watching Justin Fields sort of reminded them of watching Lamar Jackson, right? As he was slipping, the anger on his face, and the Ravens move up to take him. Potentially, Justin Fields can feel good about the fact that the Bears did give up quite a lot to get him. With that being said, I mentioned it, Swagoo. It's as if Ryan Pace was like, I know that me and Nagy's job is on the line, frankly. Do you think that Justin Fields is enough to save them? Yeah, I think he enough, but it doesn't change anything about what I thought about Justin Fields pre to him being selected 11th in the draft. I thought he was the second best quarterback in the draft to Trevor Lawrence. So I believe Justin Fields, look, this is about Pace and Nagy, and this is about Nagy more than anything. Is he going to develop, not only develop uh, what, what Justin Fields does well, are you going to tailor this offense to what he does well? That's the key. Like, it's, it's, it's funny you bring up Lamar Jackson because Lamar Jackson, for all intents and purposes, people thought was supposed to be a wide receiver. And the Baltimore Ravens said, nah, we're going to highlight your skill set. That's Matt Nagy's job. He doesn't have any other job outside of making sure you highlight what Justin Fields does well. And, and before everybody goes crazy, and Chicago is not ideal because we're thinking about Chicago in the terms of Mitchell Trubisky and all of the things we've seen with that franchise and organization, Justin Fields can absolutely be the catalyst as long as his coaches make sure that they highlight the things that he does well. He's actually surrounded by some pretty good offensive players in the, on that team. So just put the man in a great situation. Give him time if he needs to develop. But do that at a high level, Matt Nagy, and you will have a quarterback in Chicago for years. I mean, listen, the Bears are a playoff team. They were last year anyway. And very quickly, RC, I know you thought he'd go 8-9. Why do you think he fell all the way? You know what? I'm not, not, not really sure uh, why he fell. Everybody does their evaluation. Apparently, the Denver Broncos have Aaron Rodgers signed on the dotted line right now, and they didn't need him. And, you know, I, I kind of texted with Joe Brady last night, and he knew coming into the draft that they needed a cornerback. And so when you look at Justin Fields and his position, here's the one thing I like about it. Ryan Pace is not playing that whole game. Oh, if Justin comes along, he can start over Andy Dalton maybe, and maybe later on when it's time. No, Ryan Pace is acting like you're supposed to act when you finally get a date with the woman that is out of your league. When you finally get a chance with somebody that you know you shouldn't have a chance with, he is excited. Mm -hmm. He's going to show up early. He's going to pull out all the stops. He's going to make sure it works. And here's the thing. Nobody thought that Houston was a place that quarterbacks could thrive. Quarterbacks also went there to die. Deshaun Watson has excelled. Justin Fields can have that same type of effect there, and I actually hope he does. Okay, but let me just tell you as a woman, nobody likes it. You don't want to be thirsty. I don't care. You need to be into it, but also <laughs> not too thirsty because that <laughs> makes you feel some type of way, and that's not attractive either. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.